the Murray time! Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and welcome to Sly 3. 2. Sly Cooper 2. That, that's what I meant. Why the crap did I say Sly 3? Anyway, yeah, we're playing as Murray today. That's one of the fun things about this game, is that you can play as multiple characters, which we have not addressed. The problem with Murray is that he's not a stealthy type of character. Oh, it looks like we can get over here, actually. <laughs> Okay, so he's and he attempts to be stealthy, but he's not the best at it. I noticed this when I was starting up last episode, and I saw that there was that over there. This I, I believe opened up after we tailed Dimitri. So let's go over here and check it out. But first, triangle does uppercut, square does a punch. Of course, there's a double jump, and oh hey, cool. Circle will pick up objects and throw them at whoops, and throw them at enemies. Cool. Knocked them out really good, too. Not bad. Oh, wait a second. We could probably have picked him up and then thrown him, too. That would have been awesome. Didn't even have to use the keypad. Oh, boy. Murray, I need you to make your way back to the aqua pump room and sabotage it. Jeez, I don't know. How am I supposed to get past these lasers? You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw. Got it. I wonder kind of how that would work out in real time, like Ice should be able to let the lasers get by. Oh, come on, really? The lasers should be able to shoot through ice, so maybe it wouldn't be a problem. But then again, I don't know if the science of this world is the same as the science of our world. So. Okay, but first, ice block. Aha! Hoo! Aha! Hoo! Nope, no bottle. Bad bottle! Murray does not contone drinking! Okay, not my best work. Enemies that are knocked out can be picked up with your stomp move. Throw something at that guard, then jump up there and pick him up with the circle button. That is entirely doable. You, sir, go through the lasers. Oh man, I am a terrible individual. Yep. Okay, so apparently I'm not quite as good with Murray. Eh? Gonna get you. Toss the rats into that what? Open water and plug up those pipes. Uh, I couldn't hear you. Am I supposed to destroy something here? Can I destroy this thing? No, but it looks like there's another guy behind me. I'll pick you up. And throw you in here, whatever that's supposed to do. Oh my. That poor guard. Uh, hi guys. Oh. Come on now. Knock you out. Knock you out. Just gonna go ahead and pick some of these up. Nope. Nope. Whoops. There we go. You're out, cold. I need that magnet ability I got in the first game. Sly, what did you do with all of your old abilities? One more should do it because, you know, rule of three in video games. Excuse me, that was very rude. Uh, no, 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 no. Rule of three. Get in there. Come on. What, what am I even supposed to be doing here? I probably should not have. Bump. Yep. There we go. Looks like it's starting to go. All those guards in there, they are. Oh, man. This is brutal. That did it, Murray. With the aqua pump out of commission, they'll be forced to root water through the old pipe tower. Those fools! They're playing right into our hands! Uh, not so foolish if that's the only thing they could do, and you kind of blatantly sabotaged it. I mean, seriously, what the heck? Okay, fellas, I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers. But we'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heist. 
First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the Spotlight Control Center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull off the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. Trust me, it's all part of the plan. Okay, well, you're the smart one, I guess. So we got Murray, Sly, and still no Bentley. Do we have anything more we can sell? I don't think we do. Yeah, no. Yes, hello. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and play as Sly because I feel like he's much more fun to play as. He's a lot more limber, he's athletic. He's just fun overall. Now, if I remember correctly, we can pick pockets with the circle button. And then, knockout. Not bad. Whenever you do this, you won't be able to get... You'll never be able to get coins from knocking them out. But I believe that you will get... You not only get guaranteed coins by picking their pockets, but you'll sometimes get treasure. And I'm pretty sure that you actually get more coins by picking their pockets than you would get if you went ahead and knocked them out. So there's that reason, too to get used to picking everyone's pockets. Now this does slow the game down a lot if you are going for complete 100% completion, but it's not something I will be at least doing on screen if I decide to 100% complete the game in this fashion. Now I'm just going to go ahead and ask this right now. Do you guys want to see me get all of the gadgets? I can't promise that I will use all of them, but I could at least promise I would get all of them. I guess for trophy purposes you'd want to do that, but... Yeah. Just a thought. If you guys want to see everything, let me know. If not, you don't care. No skin off my back. I probably may not do it anyway. Oh, hi there! Bottle. Bottle. Yeah! Bottles have become very scarce since we have gotten all the obvious ones. Alright. Getting ready for the heist. Let's go in here and see what we can find. Now, because of how we just played the game there, they're probably going to teach us an, uh, an unnecessary tutorial once again about how to pick pockets. Okay, Sly. There's the power boxes which route to the printing press area. To take care of them, I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel. But you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs out. To pickpocket guards, sneak up behind them and press the circle button. Sounds good. Mine? In his pocket. Sometimes you have to dig a little. Come on. Dug out. Fan control key. And then this guy is gone. No one heard me. No one heard that either. I am destroying private property and no one is hearing about this. Are the guards really that slow witted and hard of hearing that I can do this? <laughs> There we go. I don't know what the range on that is after I come down, but I'll probably find out at some point. Most likely an accident. All right, you. Just gonna dig in here a bit. It's like picking your nose, but with treasure. It isn't a booger. Check one, check two. Oops. Sorry. On the mic with a shout out really? Thank you. I'm surprised this guy didn't hear me take out his friend. Alright, that's three guards. What's back in here? 
Looks like plenty of fanciful stuff. And a safe, of all things. Gonna definitely go up here and check this out. Or I'll destroy everything, because they won't let me interact with it. Okay, um, actually, before we go up there, is there anything interesting over here that I want to check out? More guards, okay. That's really the main thing we're looking for, I suppose. That's it, that's it, that's it. There we go. One, two, three, mine. And for some reason, his friend will not hear this. Oh, wait, he did. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just go ahead and play it safe. Hey, uh, where'd Ben go? Ben? Did you go on break again without telling me? I thought we were going to Taco Bell after work. Dag nabbit, Ben. I'll never hear the end of this for me. It's the last time I sign in for you before you get here. Ooh, jeez! <laughs> and... Probably nothing interesting over here. Yeah, not really. Just a whole bunch of stuff to destroy. Well, picking pockets is a faster way to get coins, so I'm going to leave everything down here alone. Uh, hello? What's all this? What's all this? Uh, okay. Oops! Whoa. Whoa. What? Ah, there's probably a guard over there. So I started to go up toward the last guard, and then nope. All right. Let's head up here, and uh, you couldn't grab that ladder. Really? Really, Sly? I mean, I know it's folded up, but still, it can be climbable. I see ya. The guard is falling asleep while watching the cameras. There's a way around that, by the way. Nice work, Sly. Now head for the control panel to slow down the fan. Right, thank you. Actually, there, I probably shouldn't go into details about security work because I don't know what I'm under contract to say and not say. Alright. Dun 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 Where am I going? Oh, here? Okay. Personally, I prefer the animation of him throwing the keys into the locks. Use them to get on top of the main chandelier and insert that splice clip. Did they really have to lock up the fan control with six keys that are fragile and could break? It just seems like a very terribly... Just terribly terrible idea. Okay, there's one. There's two. Uh, for some reason, I can climb these. I don't know why. I'm overriding the spotlight security gun. Um, the spotlight security guns. That should do it. No more security in the printing press room. Awesome work. I'm game for this. Though I don't know why these things would need to be something you can climb. But, like I said before, I didn't design this, so... What do I know? So we've got a few more coins, and we're out. Okay, before we end this episode... Hey, Sly, you can pickpocket all the guards around the nightclub. Try to find guys carrying shiny loot in their back pockets. We can pop the good stuff for a lot of coins back here at the safe house. Yeah, we kind of figured that out earlier, but thank you, Bentley. These are mine, thank you. And someone is still after me. Probably the guards in there. You think they can get at me, but they really can't. Because I am better than you are. But I would appreciate it if you looked away from me. <laughs> Just gonna grab some stuff out of there. A gold comb this time. Waste of money. <laughs> 
Okay, so before we end this episode, we did see this last time, I believe, but scattered around the world are these. If you can get this piece of fine art back to the safe house in one piece, we can sell it on ThiefNet for a ton of coins. The Thief Network. And this is something that is not regulated? Seriously? I didn't know that little spot was there either before. Just, just destroy the newspapers and it automatically refills. Okay. So yeah, we'll do a quick art challenge here. And I probably should not be doing this while I am carrying fine art. But I wanted that bronze comb. Not the most effective comb, I personally prefer plastic. Hi there. Goodbye. And that should be our home base right here. No, it's over there. It's the one with the antenna on top. Yeah. Hi there. Nope. 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 Yeah. Silver comb with what looks like diamonds on the corners. Okay. It may be more expensive than the gold comb, technically speaking, unless the go gold comb also has decorations on the corners. Let's see if we can find out. Maybe this guy will have one. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, a gold watch! That might even be better than a comb, because seriously, who wants a comb made of gold? You're just going to melt that sucker down. Alright, let's see what we can sell these things for. Bentley, what have you got? The Thief Network. Really? Bronze comb is junk. Silver, gold, gold, ivory jewel box is worth very much. And fists of flame for the Murray. <laughs> okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks everyone for joining me for slide two today. I said it right, I think for the first time. Looks like one Murray mission and one Sly mission. I think we'll start off with Murray next episode because they're not as interesting to me. They're kind of funny, but not quite as interesting, at least in my opinion. Maybe you guys will like the Murray stuff. Maybe you did like the Murray stuff. You've already done one. Yeah. Shows what I remember. See you next time, everyone. Take care. That is to say, right after I get this bottle. Two more to go. One over there. Oops. Hi there, Mr. Rat. Good night, Mr. Rat. I'm actually going to use you to destroy the box. There you go.